minutes past eight. Wouldn't be a Friday without some live music in the Kiwi studio to uh, get us into uh, the mood for the biggest party of the century. No. Um, <laughs> Simon Combo live in the Kiwi studio um, has come to celebrate with us. Good morning. Just the two of us here in the studio. Yeah. Celebrate. This is the big build up. This is right now. This is the build up for the thing. Yes. The, that thing thing. Anyway, Simon Combo, hello. Good morning. Nice to have you in. Um, thanks for coming in nice and early. I know how difficult it is for musicians um, at this time of the morning. It's pretty, pretty horrible stuff. Yes. But um, but you're um, you're all happy and stuff because uh, you've got a new EP that you've released. Correct. The right to talk to strangers. That's and the name of it. The right to talk to strangers. And you've recently been um, overseas as well. Uh, yeah, I spent a month in the US touring up the west coast and down the east coast. Um, specifically uh, to to get this album off the chest or the, the EP off the chest? Uh, specifically to play somewhere else. Yeah. And so it didn't feel like I was just promoting the EP, to be honest. It felt like I was trying to put the whole body of work out there. Yeah. So it was a good, fresh thing. That's quite a thing to set up, really. Yeah, it was three months of non-stop. Yeah. Yeah. But also the pre-planning that would, you know, involved. Yeah, three months of pre-planning. Wow. And emails and... Uh, I got I got a bit sick just before I left because I was so burnt out to be to be yeah. honest. But uh, for some reason I uh, managed to elude ill health while I was away and um, got sick as soon as I got back. Did, and do you, okay. Moral of the story. Yeah. Never go home. <laughs> or keep drinking the whiskey. Yes. Um, well, did you know anyone over there? Uh, very vaguely, there was some sort of tenuous. Um, music links there's a few sort of honorary kiwis over there who are big yeah. fans of new zealand music particularly the fly nun scene who i managed to get a bit of help and advice from and uh, i did quite a few shows with barbara manning who's a big uh, supporter of of this, the um, new zealand indie rock scene from the 80s cool. and whose records i bought about 10 15 years ago funnily enough and yeah. the first song i ever heard her sing was a, a valane song on the incredible no alternative compilation. Oh, um, great. And I didn't realise it was a Valaine song. And I went out and bought her records on the strength of the Valaine song. Yeah. Uh, and they were great as well. They, you know, they more than lived up to the comparison. So it was, um, having toured with, with the Valaines last year, it was quite an awesome yeah. connecting of all the dots yeah. to uh, get to do some shows with her. Um, and the, I guess the challenge, though, is to to get some people to the to the um, shows. Um, yeah. When you know, when you're a um, foreigner in a foreign land, with zero press muscle and, and a thousand other bands in Ireland, right. especially I, um, well, a place like New York, it's 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 very yeah. You know, how did it go? Ah, uh, it was um, all over the place. It was it was a blast. Um, my shows ranged between playing to. 15 to 20 people in a dive bar to playing little guitar in stores in LA to playing to 60 to 80 people in San Francisco probably cool. not coincidentally where, where Barbara um, had lived when she was her profile was, was on the rise in the 90s um, yeah. to playing to a bunch of people who just had to be there upstairs in a little little music lounge in New York to um, a dive bar in Nashville you know, yeah, great. everything was a bit different um, it was, you know, they were no bigger than shows I would do here, but but they were fresh. Yeah, and it was it was an enlivening experience. And uh, did you cat? Did you, you find some fans on the way? And um, you know, that you now well, in touch hardly, with people who I can hardly say I didn't love to radio. Yeah, you know, <laughs> would we? Are you now in touch with people? Say, say through Facebook and well, Twitter. Well, yeah, you know? I mean, it's incredible. Um, one thing that you do find about about the Yanks, you know, yeah, um, is is that they really do let you know. If they're um, if they're into it, yeah. Not you know, not just by writing, but in between songs, right? You know, I like that one. Yeah, we're a bit we're a bit timid, aren't we? We we form the little um, semicircle around well, the, around the know, musician no, and yeah. sort of. Go, You're not going to coax me to make a generalisation. <laughs> it's true though. Like, I remember um, the classic. The classic uh, was was um, down at the um, the Ducks in Christchurch. Oh yeah. Um, God rest its soul, and mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, the semicircle would always fall, <laughs> and then the, the musician would be coming forward, just come forward right, a little bit, yeah. and shuffle, little shuffle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it's such an irony as well that it's usually the worst way to make people um, be interested in you is to say, "Come hither." Yeah, but, yeah. 
You yeah. gotta do what you gotta do. I wonder what we're doing. Just um, scared. I guess we're scared about being included in the show or something. <laughs> I think uh, New Zealanders. For some well, reason. there's all kinds of weird dynamics going on. I mean, it's part of partly the the small. I mean, the small town thing, which you could almost use to label the whole country, is that yeah, you do tend to know everyone, and so you're not sort of beholding some mysterious musician who you've only ever seen in, in media yeah. off in a foreign shore. You know, you've yeah. only seen them at a party. Yeah, two nights ago, and um, there's different there's different um, levels of of um, relationship going on. That maybe is, is is complex. Yeah, indeed. But you know, our time is limited. Yeah. It's deep. It's deep on the the biggest party of the massive century. Day, well, yes. You know, um, <laughs> you are you performing anytime soon? Uh, yeah, we're doing well. We being my my folk rock trio. Uh, uh, playing at Tobacco, hmm. Mills Lane, Auckland, uh, this coming Wednesday. Cool. We'll start at 8 pm with She's So Red and Steve Abel. Great. And then we're heading down the line to Taupo, Wanganui, and Wellington, and then I'm playing some solo shows in the South Island the following week. Cool. Good time to do it. Nice spring springtime. Excellent. Yeah. All right. I'm um, going to play something. Now for a couple of tracks for us. Yeah, uh, this is a brand new instrumental called At First You Won't Succeed. Listening to um, Simon Comba playing live in the Kiwi studio. Brand new um, instrumental tune from his uh, new EP. Well, no, brand new. Not oh, released. Oh, not even released. Yeah. Oh, that's a um, wee treat for us this morning then. Um, one more tune. Yeah, this is from the new EP. Cool. It is released. And it's called Here I Go Again. I know 
it's gonna hurt like hell Yes, and I only want to reach out and return To the echo at the bottom of the well I wasn't looking where I was heading And I fell, fell for someone like you Simon Comba live in the Kiwi studio with the best music you're going to hear all day, anywhere around the country today. Thank you very much for that. Um, what was the name of that tune? That was Here I Go Again from the new EP, Right to Talk to Strangers. And um, is there a place where people can perhaps go and buy it online or download? Or anything? Yep, they can get it online through my website, uh, through amplifier.co.nz. Your website is simoncomba.com. Yep. Com, sweet. Uh, they can name their price for the digital files on Bandcamp. Cool. And uh, they can let Apple name the price for them on iTunes. <laughs> so there's a no clue brainer, there. Right? There's a clue there. Go get it at Bandcamp or something like that. Um, cool. And, uh, and don't forget, they're playing it um, to back on Wednesday, Wednesday night. Wednesday night. And then look out for the tour um, coming to a town near you as well. Nice one, Simon Comer. Thanks for dropping on by. Thanks for having me. We'll play something else from the um, EP. This here is called um, Twin Insomniacs. Here we go. 